What's up guys, it's me again Chriselle and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great today and I have another video for you guys but this video is going to be a different one. But this video is about ear piercing bomb. Well, let me tell you guys my story. I never had this before. I had two ear piercing in my left ear for three years and there's nothing wrong with it. It is totally fine until I did my first MRI and then I removed that and unfortunately, I can't put it back in. I don't know what happened. It probably got infected, but it started growing and growing and growing. At first, I don't mind it. It's just like, oh, it's okay. Um, it's not even visible. But after a couple of months, it's starting to grow bigger and bigger, and it became looks like more keloid. And I was like, oh my God, this is really growing faster. And probably after like seven months, you can really notice it. And that there's bump in my left ear. When I started feeling like, oh my God, there's like a big bump in my ear, and it looks like Tinkerbell. And I thought to myself that I need need to see a doctor so this is what happened first I asked ear doctor because it is in my ear so I thought that ear doctor can help me about this thing and when I asked him what treatment you can do about this thing he told me that it's kind of late to do steroids in your ear piercing bump because it is kind of big so we are going to do surgery. So when he told me that I need surgery, I asked him about anesthesia and uh, he told me that it's, no, it's gonna be a major operation. It is only like in my ear. It doesn't need like a general anesthesia. And he said that no, because we have to cut your ear like kind of piece of pie and remove that bump and then put it back together. And then the worst part of this surgery is the other ear is small and the other ear is like a normal size. So that is going to make me more conscious. Like I don't have normal ear anymore and that's gonna look like so funny. I told him, no, I don't want that. I don't want that kind of procedure. And he said that I can't do anything about it. We can try steroids, but I'm telling you that it's not gonna work anymore. And so after that, I told my husband that, um, let's stop this. Uh, I don't wanna do anything anymore on this bump. It's kind of self-inflicted uh, deformity in my ear <laughs> because without piercing, I'm for sure I'm not gonna have this bump. And after like a few months, it gets bigger and bigger. And my husband's starting to research about this and he found out that the doctor that we went for the first time is not the right doctor for this kind of problem or condition or situation. And he found out that it is dermatology doctor. It is not ear doctor. <laughs> Well, at first, because I thought as it is in my ear, it should be seen or it should be, it should be examined by ear doctor. But I was wrong, and he's right. <laughs> at that moment, he contacted the dermatologist and did this procedure, which is really awesome. I'm gonna tell you guys later how he ended up removing this bump. And the procedure is cosmetics, but. It is really worth it. Anyway, before going to that procedure, you know me guys, I will not go straight to invasive procedure. I will do non-invasive things first and if it doesn't work, I will go to the next plan. So I bought uh, several products to kind of help me with this bump, uh, but it didn't really work. So I have this one here. It is oil that I ordered this online and a lot of reviews said that it works for them but it takes a while. It's probably because I don't have any patience for this to put this in my ear every now and then. Um, yeah, so it didn't really work for me. It's probably because the problem is me. <laughs> so I stopped doing that. I tried another product but nothing really works on this bump because I can tell that it is really big and it really needs something. It really needs some treatment. And I told my husband, that, okay, I'm done with this product. I'm not gonna try it anymore. It's not really working for me. So let's set up an appointment to a dermatologist. So he did set up an appointment to this awesome dermatologist here in town. And he is a really good doctor. He gave me an option to do things, two options to treat this uh, ear bump or piercing bump. First option is to cut this and put steroids on and that's it. There's chance that if you're a keloid former, and I guess I am a keloid former, it can grow 
bad. The second option that he told me is cut it off, then put steroids, and then you have to come back for four days. So the first day is the surgery with the steroids, then the second day is the treatment, and the third and the fourth. So the second day to the fourth day is going to be a radiation therapy. It is like x-ray that you, they did. The purpose of this radiation treatment is to kill the cells that causing keloid in my ear. But that thing really works. At first, I was like really scared about it because it's radiation and I asked how much radiation you're gonna put on my ear. The one that did the radiation therapy, she said that no, it is like very minimal radiation. It is less than microwave radiation that we are always exposed to every single day, right? So that's like for three days, I did that procedure. And of course, the healing process is not that easy. You can feel pain. So this is like kind of weird thing that the doctor did not prescribe any like pain medication but i guess because the pain is tolerable but yeah like i have to take like a tylenol or any pain medication that i can you know take but the pain is very tolerable and uh, the healing process like what i said is not easy you can of course see like redness um secretion in there and uh like a blood like the healing process it's the the literally the basic healing process of wound of course the scary part is to see that the wound is infected so you have to clean that every single day so they only advised me to put like a petroleum jelly so the the wound will not stick on the gauze but i think that really helps so i want to show you guys the before and after video from the first day next day and the next day and the last day the healing process that i've been through in this surgery hey guys good morning today is my surgery day this is cosmetic reconstructive surgery and i am really nervous and excited to do this well i say is more nervous than me but we are going to do this. Schedule of my surgery is 12.30, but I have to be there early and it is 30 minutes away drive from our house. So let's go and I don't wanna be late in my surgery. All right guys, so I am over here and I'm just waiting for the nurse to call me and uh, I think we're good to go. <laughs> really, I'm a little bit nervous. So now we are here in the procedure room and it looks like this. It is going to be exciting and I'm really nervous. Alright guys, so now we're back home and uh, the surgery is done. So it is 30 minute surgery including the preparation and the procedure and the post care of the surgery. It is nerve wracking because like what I said, this is the first time that I did cosmetic reconstructive surgery. So the nurse prepared first whatever the things they need and then the doctor came and I'm um, starting to cut pieces in my ear and uh, starting to make my ear like what he said ideal ear again <laughs> and then and after the procedure they did like some post care of the wound and that's it it's very simple they gave me hand out to to study what to do and blah, blah blah and i have a little bump inside too so what he did with that is just to um shape it again remove that little bump inside using cautery machine and the funny thing is i'm watching that procedure in the mirror and the doctor told me like oh you want to see someone else cutting your ear i was like oh it's okay i want to see what you're doing so of course he allowed me to see it and I'm just watching in the mirror and now I can feel a little bit pain in this area but I tell you guys this is very tolerable pain I can tell you that because I have very low tolerance pain so I can feel every single pain and if it's like too much for me like I can't handle that so if I say that's very tolerable maybe for you it's nothing I'm starting to have radiation therapy so that's the one right now I know it's gross. So we are back here in our house and yep, about the procedure earlier, it is called superficial radiation uh, treatment. It is a lot of preparation. I sat there for, I think, 30 minutes or more than 30 minutes. She prepared all the metals that she needs. It's like a square. I tried to videotape everything, but she said I can't. The reason that she will not allow me to do it is because I don't have anybody with me and she have to put something in my eyes to protect my eyes from the radiation 
and I have to stay still like I can't move at all so that's the reason why I can't videotape or film that procedure but I just want to share you how it goes so what happened is so she did prepare those metals the square metals and she put it here and it is a big machine that they use to target that cells here it is a very short exposure to radiation but it is long preparation so tomorrow is the second day of my superficial radiation treatment it is going to be fast this time because she don't have to prepare those material things that she used earlier because it's already prepared and she already know what the measurement I'm gonna take off your um, mask. mask for just okay. a second yeah. you guys enjoyed that clip I know that is like a little bit something if you are not used to see like blood or healing process of wound I know that's kind of gross guys if you have this problem this is not end of the world okay that, that's how I felt before literally it is not a big deal you can live with it I mean if you are comfortable Having that, you don't have to do anything about it. That's fine, that's totally fine. That's totally your decision. For women like me that I'm not, I'm not really comfortable having that in my ears because I don't have that before. My ear is pretty normal until I had my MRI and I have to remove that piercing. It is really self-inflicted problem in my case. But anyways, there's solution, okay? Especially if you have this kind of problem, there is solution. There is treatment for that. First, of course, try different products. Probably it can help you. If you're very like consistent, you know yourself that you can be like every day applying products on that. Probably it will help. And the next advice that I can tell you is see your doctor immediately if you are not comfortable seeing that in your ear. Don't wait until that thing gets bigger and bigger that you're gonna end up having surgery like me. Probably they can treat that. If it's like early enough, probably they can treat that with steroids. You don't need any surgery for that. And uh, lastly, surgery is not that bad. It takes time to heal. Now it's almost like two months and it is completely healed now. So that's my advice to you guys that have the same problem with ear piercing or ear piercing bump. So I hope you guys learned something in this video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and click that like button below if you end up liking this video. I hope this video really helps to anyone that have this same problem or self-inflicted problem. <laughs> Alright, so I hope to see you guys on my next video and please stay safe, spread the love and God bless you all. Bye.